Hey, I'm Alex from Zaxworks, here to show you the first two new features of 3D Pro Animator 8 that's coming out in just two weeks. If you didn't receive this email we're looking at here, sign up for our newsletter using the link below this video. If you want to read through this email, you can find it on our blog at zaxworks.com. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for all the latest announcements. Alright, so this is an exciting release for us. Pro Animator 8 is all about speed and beauty. Now in this email, the first feature here says real-time 3D rendering. Yes, real-time. The phrase real-time has been very overused recently. You hear real-time, but then you find out you need a whopper of a computer to actually get it. Well, as you watch this demo, know that I'm using only a four-year-old Mac laptop, nothing special, and I'm getting at least 30 frames per second. Yeah, that fast. So that's the first new feature. You can see some speed comparisons with our ray tracing, inner object reflections, all that good stuff. Um, and I'll be explaining as we go through this video what the actual speed enhancements do for you. The second big new feature that we're revealing today is Camera Focus, also known as Depth of Field. This is a feature that lets you decide which objects will be in focus and which ones will be out of focus. In this picture right here, we have these words and balls in the front that are in focus, and everything else behind them is blurry. This is something that happens naturally in real life, but takes tons of processing to do in the computer. Well, 3D Pro Animator 8 has it working in real time. Yes, real time, which makes it completely interactive and fun to work with. So now, let's jump into the program to see the rendering speed and camera focus in action. Alright, so here we have our chess scene with our words, our pieces, and our board. And when I move around with our camera tool, we can see everything happens in real time. But this is not anti-aliased, this is just our OpenGL preview. So I'll click on Auto Render, this new feature, and it'll put everything into final mode at all times. And so now I see we have ambient occlusion, and when I move around, we can move everything around in real time. We have some soft shadows happening here. Uh, we have our reflection maps and our uh, other materials all happening with our 3D lens flares as well. So let me tell you a little bit about what we have done here. We have completely rewritten our rendering system. We scratched the old rendering system to come up with new technology. We've created a GPU-CPU hybrid that we call our reactor rendering system. So what's cool about this is that we have our OpenGL and it's real time, we move it around and it's super fast on a four-year-old Mac laptop. However, when you want that extra quality, you want that extra look, you can go in here, you can change your renderer to Ray Tracer, and then it's going to think about it for a little second, and then render out your scene and see how fast it is, and now we get inner object reflections. And so, right down here, you can see our floor is now reflecting our words. And so I move around, when I move around it snaps to OpenGL, as soon as I let go, it snaps right into our Ray Tracer. And so we can zoom in on some of these words here. And we see the floor is reflecting our words. Um, and it's all happening incredibly fast. Seriously, the blink of an eye. And of course, you get better quality materials and textures. And you can even get like refraction and other awesome things that go along with ray tracing. And so we can zoom in here. Let's I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and zoom into one of our pieces and we see this piece right here is actually reflecting the other objects in the scene as well and that's super fast that's super awesome I mean it gives us a great looking scene and it's really fast and you can change around some of the details incredibly quickly now so that is the first feature that I wanted to talk about that is the fast speed woo fast okay for the second feature it's gonna be our camera focus so let's go ahead and open up that project and here we have our pool scene. We'll turn it on to auto render and we see we have ambient occlusion and we have um, other object reflections and our words all happening incredibly fast, all real time. Remember, this is anti-aliased and everything. So what I can do is I can go ahead, click on this pose right here and turn up this blur amount. And when I do that, we see we automatically get real time interaction. I wasn't kidding, real time camera focus or depth of field, whichever one you call it. And so notice how these words in front are in focus and everything else behind it is out of focus and blurry. And so we can go ahead, we can move along our timeline here and see how our words still stay in focus focus and everything else behind it is blurry. Come to our last pose and show you that we can change our focus distance. So say you don't want it to focus on the words, you want it to focus on the ball in the back. Well that's easy. You can just change this number, this will make it go zero will go forward, bigger num numbers will go backwards. And so now the focus is in the back right here. I can take this pose, move it down, create another pose, and take this distance back down to 11. 
to put our words back in focus. And now when I move my time marker along, notice how the words go out of focus and into focus. And so that's a really cool look, very cinematic, um, and it can be used all the time, incredibly quickly, all in real time, to focus your objects, to take the focus off one object and put it onto another. And so we have that. Let me delete this pose. And of course, one of the coolest things with ours is that we have our new reactor rendering system with our ray tracer. And so I will go ahead, come down here, switch to our ray tracer. And when I do that, we now get our inner object reflections with our extra juicy materials, and it just looks so much cooler. Um, so I can zoom in here, we have OpenGL, as soon as I let go, now we get these inner object reflections, and it, you see the other balls are reflecting in this ball, and reflecting in the words, and it just all looks incredibly cool. So I can zoom out, and of course, our depth of field is applied as well. So we still get our depth of field where it's blurry in the back and the words are in focus. So let's switch over so we get a bigger view and notice the scene's a little bigger so it takes a little more time to render but it's still incredibly fast and we get our entire scene ready to go. So there you go. I hope you can see how incredibly fast this new version is. So remember, you'll be able to buy this in just two weeks. In the meantime, look forward to our next email where we will reveal the next two features very soon. I'll see you next time.